human intelligence. At the Generative AI Silicon Valley Summit, 1,500 top-tier researchers and engineers are giving us a look at what AI can achieve. Florence Lee used MetaWise Generative AI software to create this movie trailer in two weeks. No actors, no artists. All that was needed were her ideas written in a text prompt. Before, we needed like a huge team of people where you have like directors, script writers, and like concept artists, and there's still more, like maybe compositors, visual effects. Right now, you only need one, one director, and all of these AI software can help you do it. Should people be worried about their jobs if it's that good? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Real Char is working to bring an AI companion to anyone. Ever wondered what it feels like to launch a car into space or how we could sustain life on Mars? It's created AI digital assistants that come in the voice and character of everyone from Elon Musk to Keanu Reeves. Life's a lot like a movie set, full of unexpected twists and turns. It's just like talking to a human on your daily basis. Like It can help you to make phone calls, can help you to like sort your calendars. At the same time, it can talk to you just like your friends. It can give you like emotional comfort. Even though generative AI programs show impressive reasoning abilities, they still don't know a lot about specific data, like about you or perhaps your company. Llama Index helps make any data set easily accessible and searchable. We asked its co-founder, Jerry Liu, whether the most advanced generative AI programs like ChatGPT4 are as smart as a human. It's basically on par with human intelligence right now to some extent, right? Obviously for kind of more advanced tasks, it's not gonna know as much and it's, it might struggle at a certain points, but it's at a point where we can start using it to basically mimic human-like behaviors. So for like creative tasks, like being able to generate like, you know, believable like poetry or stories, it's able to do that pretty well. I asked Lou whether AI is making strides toward another perceived human-only ability, emotion. There's a philosophical question, like, you know, can a machine really have, like, you know, like, you know hormones, basically, to, to feel emotion? But it can absolutely mimic uh, emotion and probably, like, have something, a learning process where it can learn to do certain things in an emotive manner over time. The summit was organized by GPD Dow, a community of tech experts who believe that no one should be left behind in the coming AI revolution. We want to make sure AI is doing the things that the society wants them to, right? Uh, the AI is doing things when we are sleeping. AI is doing things based on our value. With good preparation, we can align with AI. The Generative AI Summit is hoping to inspire the next generation of thinkers. In fact, 50 high school students have been selected for a special AI initiative. The experts were impressed by how advanced the students were. Further evidence that coexisting with AI could become an ordinary way of life for future generations. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.